It's Ghost Rider 1 here. Um, I'm back with a new video. After the holidays. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, if you were on my website, uh, you could see what I would be reviewing next. And this is one of the things I listed. It's called Robo Rattler. It's a remote control snake that you control with, uh, you know, a remote control. But it's no regular remote control. It's, um, it's almost shaped like a little egg. Then it has the buttons for it to, uh, go straight and then turn and turn. <clears throat> I have actually already unboxed it, as you can see, so it will not be a unboxing, but it will be a review. Um, so this is the Rubble Rattler in white. There's also one in green and one in black, I believe. Uh, they all have the same... You know, what do you call it? Um, they all have the same detailing with those little... Um, like cracks or scales um and the snake itself is actually pretty cool so as you can see it's made up of different pieces and the head is um pretty cool because it has black and red eyes then it has the tongue but the the tongue is actually retractable so when you turn it on you'll see it go in and out and then what makes it move is the wheels on the bottom you have two primary wheels the big black ones up in the front then you have all of the little plastic ones along the body then there's a couple at the tail too um the remote hold on let me get it from rolling away the remote actually runs on batteries, but it's already included when you buy it. Uh, the snake itself, you actually charge it. The snake does not need batteries. You charge it with the included USB wire sort of thing. So you plug this little tip into the snake and you plug this USB into your computer. And then it charges, um, I actually had to get a new one at first, and this is the new one, because my original one I left in the charger too long, and the charger ended up melting, um, so we returned it and got a new one, but here it is now. Um, I have not charged it yet, because I've saved its battery, um, and I guess there's really all to tell you about, so now... Let me show you the actual drive. Alright, so real quick, just let me do this. Sorry, I'm probably wasting a little bit of your time. You know, to make this a lot easier for both you and me, I'm just going to make this in two parts, so once I'm ready, I'll come back. See you in the next video. Bye. Alright guys, so we're back. Once again, this is Ghost Rider 1. Just, um, this is a second part of the Robo Rattler, so as you can see, I've uh, moved to a more flat granite surface so that he can glide better. Um, yeah, alright, so let's get him powered up. There is a little switch on and off switch on the bottom right there. And you just flip that, and you can see that little red light will start glowing, saying that he's ready. And then to start him up, push that little button in the middle. So, let me just stand up. And alright. So as you can see, he moves quite realistically. And you can control him by pressing the right or left buttons. And, um, you don't even have to press the right or left buttons, you can just leave him going straight. Or not straight, because it's actually almost a free run mode. But that's him, as you can see, he looks really realistic when he slithers. And he's really cool, I've been able to, um, oh, my poor little dog. I've been able to scare him with this, because he's like, oh my gosh, what is this contraption? But it's really fun, I've played with this for so long. He probably needs charge pretty soon, but it's really fun. Now let me just steer him back. Alright. 
And then to stop him, just push that middle button again. Oops, sorry, I covered up the camera. And hold on. So remember how I told you the tongue retracts? Probably couldn't see that while he was moving. But this is what happens. You can see that tongue is spinning in and out just like a real snake. And it's actually really cool. You can do this. I could do this forever. I could just ride him around for hours. And he's really fun. I really recommend this if you know where to find him. Um, if you've even seen him in a commercial or something. I got this one at actually uh, my nearest Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, you can also find him on eBay, Amazon, or stuff like that. Um, but he's really cool. Really recommend him if you're looking for something to scare people with. Or just anything. So, you know. Until next time. And don't forget to check out my new um, website to see what we are going to be reviewing next. Thanks, guys, and see you in the next video. This is Ghost Rider 1, signing out.